Me stream. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay, so you should see nothing right now. Nothing. I am modding on my mod that I've been working on since 1.29, which I haven't been working on. <laughs> but I am here now. I'm gonna be showing what I've been doing, <laughs> which is not much. But uh, I am gonna be just streaming about it uh, let me see if it works Just, all right so this this is good all right so this is what I've been working on right here so if you don't know the game it might look I don't know. <laughs> it might look weird. It, it, it already looks weird if you don't know the game. But if you know this whole history and you have played the game, well, the first thing you would notice is uh, the Balkan area where Byzantium owns all of its cores back and Ottomans are no longer in this area. I have moved the Ottomans here. <laughs> Um, so basically this is like, uh, I don't know, I just felt like modding and then just like changing a lot of things around to get like a different feel of the game. So I added in random countries, random countries. So first nation I added in is Sparta. Actually, it is the first nation but I've recently only like started touching it. So. Uh, here's Sparta. This is the mission tree that I am working on currently. Right now, obviously, these three down here I have uh, haven't localized yet, but the rest I've localized because uh, I have done, I've tested it. So the, the, uh, the, this is how I know the localized ones are like done, kind of, but uh, kind of like this like format. Of the missions here uh, I don't know if I want to add any more right now this last mission isn't really anything it's 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 literally a copy and paste Navy size from here and then average lifespan it's not nothing this last mission doesn't do much but I just wanted to see how it would look if I did add it in um, so this is the Spartan mission tree. I I'm kind of working on it right now. So I'm just gonna be working on missions, all of the missions in in this mod first. So I have a lot to do. So there there is a lot to do. Uh, ideas here are the Spartan ideas. They get discipline, shock damage. The morale of armies. Morale of armies 20.5. I feel like that's a typo. But it could not be either. <laughs> um, then we got 50% mercenary maintenance off. 12.5% trade efficiency. 12.5% uh, land maintenance modifier. 15% tax modifier and you can recruit female generals. 25% force limit modifier to an army tradition from battles 100% female advisor chance and yearly corruption minus 10% and then we got army drill gain modifier plus 75% and then the last one was more out of armies and then I have so you start off at tick 3 and you're wondering why do I have a free tech so that's what my mod is going to bring. It's going to bring free tech at rank 3. Next one is at rank 5, which is normal at 5. Next one would be 7. So I, this is where it changes up. It goes to 9, 13, 16, 19, 24, and 26. Which is, I think all of them are different. I'm pretty sure. And then here are the techs. 
they're the exact same except for one tech which is in admin which is technocracy ideas which gives you monthly splendor plus 10 so i feel like technocracy ideas if you get this late game it's really trash because all the splendor is like gone and it, it doesn't matter anymore so i guess monthly splendor is really good so like most people go innovative first for the innovativeness game and institution spread and that 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 like builds up over time but this is also good because it also builds over time as well for monthly splendor and then we got institution embracement costs which it's not in here surprisingly it's not in the original like other stuff so i i'm trying to put all of like all of the uh stuff that isn't used into an idea group and i call it technocracy ideas so we got institutional embracement costs state maintenance modifier by minus 50 percent uh free policy innovativeness gain so this was already here you can see that's 50 percent this is only five percent uh i don't know why it's only five percent maybe i did a typo but that's five percent then we got idea costs uh admin efficiency and technology costs so there's like three ideas there that are the same from before but i'm trying to add like newer stuff you know so i think i'm gonna do one for each each idea group just like new ideas that it's not in any other idea group um so techno technocracy was the first one i did and that's that's all uh, that's all i did um so sparta is a new country another new country here is bulgar horde here if i tag into it okay i don't know what the tag is oh, bgr i do know that uh <laughs> the flag is the bulgarian flag but um lighter color of blue i think it's like purplish so it's a lighter color of blue and the map color is orange like dark orange mongolian horde orange like like the old color of the golden horde orange so that's what i was going for it was like i don't know i was thinking of something like what if hordes were here instead in bulgaria so their traditions i feel like i've already explained all of this but if i haven't then um here's the recap of it anyways we got one merchant and 15 percent core creation cost so kind of like ottomans 33 percent off but it's in the traditions so you don't need to get any ideas for this and you're a horde so you can just tribal conquest everyone and then raise which you will get admin points back plus the minus 50 percent core creation cost which, which sounds crazy <laughs> i know but every time i see the ai play this uh bogo horde they keep dying like within 50 years so there is that we got attrition for enemies plus one because you know you are a horde and we got diplomatic rep by three actually so diplomatic rep by three is quietly overpowered because that means if you're if you annex a vassal you, you get a annex vassal de debuff that that debuff does not matter because you have this and then you got inventory cost minus 10 percent then we got raising power gain 50 percent plus yearly horde unity so you will forever be the horde life <laughs> then we got 25 percent tax modifier 10 percent morale of armies minus five years of separatism and 15 percent infantry combat ability so if if anyone wants to play this nation this is a very fun nation to play as especially since you're over here in the orthodox lands and you're an orthodox horde so just rage war against Wallachia, serbia uh, byzantium and you should be able to grow quickly except you know 
Hungary is big and will probably be under Austria. Byzantium is guaranteed by Muscovy, so um, yeah, you're gonna have a you you should be able to consolidate early on and maybe later on as well. So this is that that one. Next to Bulgar Horde, I'm not missing you. It's uh, Northern Macedonia. So at first, I think I named this Macedonia. And then... No, I named this Northern Macedonia. And then they changed their name to Northern Macedonia. So I never changed it back. So I'm like, cool. <laughs> so this is Macedonia, actually, area. And I named it Northern Macedonia because this is Macedonia, the... The city's like right there. <laughs> so I caught this northern Macedonia and I'm like, it's kind of where um, where the country is. So I just, I was like, all right, let me just copy the flag easy enough. I don't have to create my own flag like the Bulgar Horde there or MS Paint Sparta's flag. <laughs> um, but if we go into uh, this country here, there's nothing in this country, by the way. Oh, I have ideas. Okay, so I made their ideas at least. That's good. I have zero missions. Yeah. Oh, I have missions. I just... They're just broken. Right. Right, right, right. Anyway, I will fix that, by the way. Don't worry about that. Uh, missions. We got... I mean, traditions. We got... Discipline 2.5%, which is not that much. Uh, fort defense plus 25%. Which is alright, I think. That's like normal. Then we got attrition for enemies. Exactly like Bulgur Horde. I didn't even know that, by the way. Construction time minus 25%. Which is hard because you, you only have highlands. <laughs> it's gonna be expensive to develop your lands. Then we got institution spread by 10%. Uh, Land force limit modifier plus 25%. Artillery combat ability by 15%. Max promoted cultures plus 3. And trade efficiency plus 7.5%. And naval attrition minus 25%. Naval attrition minus 25% when you don't have a port. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm trolling with that one. It's like a little bonus only if you get to a point where you have a navy. And then at the end here we got claim duration plus 50% and autonomy monthly change minus 15% it looks like. And that's Macedonian ideas. Yep, that's it. Uh I need to change I need to fix the missions. I think we did have missions there and then it just died. Any other changes in the region? Montenegro is back under a vassal of Serbia. Uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina is allied to Byzantium at the start of the game. I have not unpaused yet. Uh, let's see, you want to see the diplomatic. Crimea and Moldavia is allied to the Bulgar Horde. Uh, Wallachia has no allies. Byzantium is allied to Castile, Portugal, Theodora, and Herzegovina. And Muscovy is guaranteeing them. So I made sure the Byzantium doesn't die very early on. They're allied to Castile and Portugal because uh, I think something about being Roman or something. I don't know. <laughs> There's some history. And then Muscovy is like, we got to protect the Orthodox faith or something like that. Uh, Theodore, because mainland Theodore always ally them. And Herzegovina is Orthodox as well. So they're, they're, those are the re reasons for Byzantium. Epirus gained gain two provinces, Corfu and Epirus, but they lost uh, Cephalonia. So Epirus is guaranteed by Austria. So even if you are Athens or Sparta, you cannot attack into Epirus without angering the empire, which is cool. Uh, then we got Athens and Sparta, which are basically rivals. If you're, if you, if they don't rival each other, I'm I'm gonna be surprised. I think I was Sparta, so obviously they don't have rivals at the beginning. But I made it like very clear they have cores on each other. Yeah, 
and they both start with 45 development so it's like an even like development fight so uh, for Sparta they own the whole island here uh, they have Corinth, uh, Achaia, Moria, and Cephalonia, and Crete while Athens they have uh, this island, Naxos, Scio, Lesbo, and that's it that's, that's their five provinces and then uh, Sparta has five provinces with the same amount of development so they both have the same amount of development and then I made Genoa take G Gallipoli because they got moved out of Lesbos so I gave them Gallip Gallipoli instead but Byzantium does have a core on that so there's that um, Genoa's allied with Portugal though so that's nice uh, and then since uh, Skio was lost to Genoa I gave them Benghazi instead which is weird but they usually lose this because yeah this far and then Venice since they lost Crete, Naxos, uh, this island and Corfu they lost all of that I gave Venice Darna, Rosetta and Algarbia which is really strong because this is a really good estuary so the Mamluks got nerfed here but they got buffed somewhere else as well well they also got uh, nerfed here too so Lebanon is a thing and they're actually a march of the papal state so yes crusading crusading lands uh, activate so the Pope has uh, Lebanon as a march but they also have another march in Avignon and then they have the two vassals they start at the beginning of the game so the Pope is quite powerful at the start and the theme of this mod is like vassal swarm so the Pope has four vassals, two vassals and two marches and then Poland over here oh Poland if you accept Lithuania as your junior partner Poland will end up with usually eight out of seven relations <laughs> so this is Poland and Poland has uh, Mazovia as a vassal Transnistria as a vassal they're guaranteeing Moldovia and they have Galicia Bohemia as a vassal but they still have gold cores on Galicia here so if they annex Galicia it will only take uh, the total amount of cost of this area right here so that's good Poland is very strong um, usually the AI cannot handle all of these vassals but Lithuania has uh, Kiev as a junior partner and Kiev has <laughs> Zafiriki as a junior partner so when Poland inherits Lithuania as a junior partner they also get Kiev and Zafiriki so Poland is super strong uh, with all of their vassals and personal unions uh, this is another uh, so t Transnistria I don't know it's um, thing TSN all right tag TSN I don't know if I've made anything for them yeah they have zero ideas and they have zero missions I just made their flag and I made their country and that's it and their color so this is a guaranteed vassal for Poland in case Moldovia does not take the mission so Moldavia has a mission to uh, either take Hungary, Poland, or independence. And so this just guarantees Poland half of Moldavia. And Hungary can get the other half, or Poland can get the other half, or they be independent. So it's just um, Poland guarantees at least half of uh Moldavia so they can access this Black Sea right here which is good because I hate it when I saw <laughs> Hungary this big and then Poland can't attack Ottomans or something like that but this just like I don't know it it makes a different thing here it makes a different way I to be honest I was gonna make Transnistria a vassal of Moldavia because Moldavia still doesn't recognize 
this country, but this is a fantasy EU4 world where I make random country anyways. So <laughs> here's this country with their flag. I made sure that I put their flag in. So there's that. Um, we move away from Poland to Brandenburg. And you're like, oh, this is just normal Brandenburg. It, sound, it looks the same. Kind of does look the same. The, also, this actually all of this area looks the same, doesn't it? Hmm. If you've never played EU4, it kind of does look all the same. So, in the HRE, I've released like uh, I've re released countries that has cores on their lands. So Bohemia has two marches and two vassals. The marches are this land which they have at the start of the game and this land which is uh, also what they had at the start of the game. I think I've checked all of them though but they have like no mission trees anyway so it's like what's the point. <laughs> but uh, these are the two countries I made right like you look at them and you're like what you made this right no like I don't think they're actually no did I make these I don't even know I don't even know at this point if I made them or not <laughs> I've released them that's for sure uh, they are vassals here you can see two vassals for Brandenburg uh, I gave this to Brandenburg mainly because uh, like the theme is vassal swarm because uh, I have trigger modifiers and this trigger modifier is only if you're these countries and there's like three modifiers there's alpha beta and omega so if you're one of these three uh, you have these modifiers you just have these modifiers which is pretty overpowered you get a relation and diplo rep and liberty desired minus so I think you start off the game pretty well off 15% I think if yeah 15% is good enough let's see the papal state because I think the papal states have a different one too yeah they have Omega which is three relations uh, Diplo rep and 25% but they're still angry so I might still have to change that I might do do I want to do 50% because it's way harder for them. Um, I don't know where to find that actually. Uh, oh. Where is this at? I forgot. Triggered mod modifiers. That's a swarm? Okay. Let's do 50%. I feel like that's really overpowered. But we don't want all of them to. Let's see, like, let's see the Timurids, right? The Timurids, I don't think they have this modifier. Right, yeah, so the Timurids don't have this modifier. And they have to control all this, and there it's not gonna happen. But, like,. I don't think Aragon also has this modifier. Oh, they do. They have this one, which is the second one. Yeah, they have 20% off, and they're only Sicily is mad. So Aragon also has this modifier. They have uh, Mallorca, uh, Sardinia, Naples, and Sicily. Usually, um, they integrate Sardinia first, and Naples leaves. And they gain Navara, but this is their situation where I just made them a little weaker, but also a lot of vassals. Vassal swarming. Uh, Castile haven't changed yet. I don't know if I want to release Galicia, Leon, Asteris, and all of that yet. But Burgundy, ooh, Burgundy is a fun one. Here we go, Burgundy with its seven vassals. What what modifier does it have? It has Omega. So there's only four nations that has this modifier. 
the Fire Nation, the Papal States, Poland, and Burgundy. Yes, the Fire Nation is a thing. They attack in Asia though, so if you're playing in Europe, you won't see them for a while. It's like a John Mayan type of like deal, but you won't be able to see them anytime soon. So you get three more vassals on top of what you already have for Burgundy here. So it's just it's just something big, and you start in the Empire, by the way. So you don't have to deal with Austria's bullshit. Oof. Um. Yeah, that's mainly what changed. England has two more vassals, Cornwall and Wales. Um, Tunis has vassals, Tripoli, Calabria. Basically, North Africa is united into three locate three areas. So there's Tunis's influence. This is Telemcin's influence, and Morocco has its own influence already. So. It's just to unite the area faster. Um, I think that's about it. And Mamluks has their own vassals down here. And Medina and, and Nizia and Faj are added. They already had Hijaz. So I decided like if I was gonna get rid of like five of their provinces, six of their provinces, I'll give them vassals. Kind of like the Ottomans where I. I literally took all of the Ottomans um, development and I put them into Vassal of Kandar, Ramazan, and Dolkadir. And usually they attack Karaman first as well. Karaman. So they have all these vassals. And that's about it for Europe. <laughs> and we gotta spectate to go to Asia. And this is where the Fire Nation is. And the Fire Nation. Oh, whoops. Fire Nation cannot see shit. <laughs> so, I don't know why, but uh, I think it's the technology group, right? What technology group are they? They're high American, right? Yeah, they are. So, I made the technology group of the Fire Nation high American. I was wondering why they can't see China and whatnot. And I'm like, oh, the technology group. So, I made a whole mission that just like when you start out the game you will discover all of uh all of like the 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 asian region and your personality would change to militarist so if we go into spectate here and we go into here it should say hmm we should go here it should say balance and when they take the mission in like five seconds here it would turn to militarist yeah see so it works <laughs> and the AI will seek to expand aggressively at the expense of their neighbors and are far more likely to go to war and that's kind of what I want for the fire nation I just want them to like expand and expand and like destroy everybody because you know, the meme is like, um, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Uh, easy missions for them right now. It's not much, which looks like, yeah, it's not much. <laughs> but, um, you gotta get your navy up, you gotta get your army up, you gotta have money. Um, this doesn't even have a prerequisite yet. Uh, you gotta own cities, you gotta own more cities. These two, I haven't figured out how to like, I don't know what I wanted to do before I did the mission. This was, this is like my first mission tree. And so like all of this was my first mission tree. So <laughs> this mission actually just gives you a core on the mainland. Cause I didn't know how else the AI was going to like invade the mainland. So I just gave them a core on the mainland. So they can like just go crazy on the mainland. And they usually do go crazy on the mainland. Which is cool and all. Um, so this is the... Before I explain what that thing is right here. This is the normal ideas you get for this country, right? So this is what everybody gets. This is like everybody. This is 5% combat 
ability for infantry, 25% land fire damage, then you get 5% core creation cost, 10% uh, aggressive expansion, expansion impact, plus 1 artillery fire, may establish Siberian frontiers, uh, plus 1 land leader fire, and plus 1 infantry fire then we got 25% fire damage received plus 5% cavalry combat ability and plus 1 cavalry shock and 1 naval fire or 3 naval fire and then we got 5% artillery combat ability so straight up just military military base ideas um, there was like some on AE and core creation and that's it. It's it's just and and Sib Siberian frontiers, which is Diplo, but it's mainly just uh, uh, military ideas because this, this is a fire nation. So so this ideal group did not show up because it is a country exclusive idea group, but also AI exclusive. So you cannot play into this idea group which is something i'm pretty proud that i did i was able to do so ai just gets mega bonuses all throughout the board here uh it starts with power cost minus 100 percent so as soon as they get this everything else is gonna be cheaper they get like 100 percent discipline and 40 thousand percent morale of navy navies so it's just really broken ai and i kind of want it to be really broken ai because it's like john mayan you're playing with like a john mayan but if you choose as the fire nation you don't get those bonuses the the player does not get those bonuses you don't even see this idea group so if you play as a fire nation it's just normal normal um uh calm calm uh uh was it normal calm gameplay where you can expand expand as soon as possible but it's not as big as it. oh look look they're gonna take it right now once they take it ooh ooh take the idea take the idea it only costs 405 they're already attacking look at them they're attacking oh my god oh my god the fire nation is attacking oh so they took the first idea which is minus a hundred percent power cost so the next idea only costs 40. <laughs> it went from <laughs> it went from 400 to 40 so the next one is just 40 and then this one is all, all of these have three each ish around there and then at the end it's two liberty desire from subjects development th 30 thousand percent off <laughs> and admin efficiency plus 25 percent so you can see it's quite overpowered this uh this look they already took economic ideas by taking tech 5 how much does it cost for tech cost is 30 for tech oh my god 44 ideas and 30 for tech you can see how the ai would uh go crazy right oh my god their normal ideas are like eh what is this <laughs> but yeah this is how i got the ai to like expand quicker uh, i feel like it's it works out pretty well so if you're playing in this area <laughs> you gotta gotta watch out for the fire nation before they attack I feel like I would make uh, um, a couple of series on this if I actually finish this uh, uh, mod. Like, how do I defend against the Fire Nation? Do we attack first? What What do we do? How many people can uh, defend against the Fire Nation? That's uh, actually a cool idea. If you guys see this mod, and if you guys want to pick it up and uh, see if you can defend against the Fire Nation. Look, look, look at the Fire Nation. <laughs> See if you can defend the Fire Nation with your friends. One of you is playing Korea, one of you is playing Ming, the other one's playing 
at Chicago. <laughs> I don't. I think can 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 Ming Ming can't even see the capital of the Fire Nation. So the problem is, yeah. Also, they're producing glass and iron. I changed it from fish. So, so those two provinces were, were were fish. So I changed it from glass and iron. So, <laughs> they're they're pretty aggressive in that. Uh, they're already using their Siberian frontiers to expand like crazy. This is only ten years into the game. They. They just declared an open war. So I'm I'm pretty proud of this John Mayan clone for the Fire Nation here. I think in in the base game, John John Mayan and Synthetic Dawn are completely different though. They they. They can use a different code for for them. I don't think it takes an idea slot, right? Yeah. It's like a totally different code. But this is you take one idea group for the AI. Right? So if you're playing as a player you do you do not you cannot see that idea group. The overpowered one. The only way to actually play as the overpowered Five Nation would be you join the game as a different country then you go into console commands and you tag switch over <laughs> but this is this is already fun to watch the Fire Nation just attack everyone so the Fire Nation is not the only one that could be super powerful I made another nation that could also be super powerful but uh, it's not as powerful as the. Okay, it's not as powerful as the Fire Nation. There's another nation in America. It's Weebland. <laughs> you can already guess what it is. It's uh, Shinto in a sea of totemists, and their uh, ideas are obviously. Um... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna talk about it. It's just there. If you, if you want to see it for yourself, download the mod. Um, but yeah, we can we can see here that. Oh God! Can we click here and then click here? The goal, the the horde is going crazy. So, oh my God! Northern Macedonia. I've never seen them attack outwards, and they took all of. This area. So boys attacking Naples. Did Poland take the Union? Poland did not take the Union. Oh my god, Poland, what are you doing? Oh my god, Poland. Oh he took Balaki as a vassal. That's dumb. And Moldavia as a tributary state. This is really dumb. <laughs> but there is that. My Ottomans are expanding straight into Georgia. Uh, Telemson, annex a vassal. This is where everyone annex one vassal, right? Yep, Galicia, Bohemia is annexed. Let me just see some of this first and then I'll change some stuff around. Papal states annex both of their vassals. Wait, they kept their vassals though. So it looks like I don't need to change the code because they actually kept their vassals. So I can revert it back to 15%. 15%, 20%, and 25%. Also, I increased the Diplo rep to help with the Liberty Desire. 
but I think I'm gonna just decrease it now because I have Liberty Desire. I might just give one Diplo Rep to each of them. Yeah, it doesn't matter which Omega, which uh, Vassal Swarm modifier you have, it will just be one. Uh, I've been talking about the mod for a while now, uh, but I do have a friend in my Discord call right now. He's just playing some WoW, I think. Uh, but yeah, this, this is what I'll be working on, and I'll just be talking about the mod while I'm talking to my friend. I hope you guys enjoy that 40 minute explanation at the start, but uh, I'm just gonna be talking to my friend now. Okay, so I'm back. What'd you do, man? The soul? Soul? Gone? Hoggers? Wicked. Wicked, dude. You doing anything? Doing anything, man? Uh. Mm, not really. Unlucky. The AI is so dumb, I had to make like uh, its own code so I can make it overpower. <laughs> oh, what is the AI doing, man? Alright, let's see what I need to work on. I said I was gonna do missions. Oh yeah, Spartus missions. Let me look at them real quick. But I don't want to tag into Sparta. That's me control. Oh, they took care of Athens. Nice. Oh yeah, this last mission I need to change now. I don't even know what I want it to do. It's called last mission, but it won't be the last mission. I just need to change it to something more. Uh... Conquer Rome? That might be a good shout. Conquer Rome, maybe? Oh. Ugh. Conquer Rome. Provinces to highlight, I need to do that.
Wait, I do need to move it. Okay. I don't need to move it, not. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I confused it. Um, what is wrong? 118. Oh my god. Wait, I start streaming now. This guy starts streaming. Hello? <laughs> what? Wait, HL is online, thank you. I am awake now. Why is he awake at this time? do now because it's it's hard thinking of the mission tree just conquer the world man easy Should I just call it for this tree? This tree is pretty good. I can call it for this tree for now and work on another country, right? This tree looks pretty good. We need to fix Northern Macedon. Northern Macedon. Whatever it's called. I need to see why it's wrong though. 
Wait, is fire missions? You must look at Spartan missions. Did I just fix it? So. Take close of all. Alright, I also need to look at these crappy missions that are oofed. Let's pause the game so it doesn't go through. Okay, so these are broken. Why? Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing again. Oops. Okay, I think the problem I think the actual problem is you don't need to name it if it's not used. So say this one, delete this, delete this, delete this. It's not being used so it doesn't matter. And we gotta move this over? No. Let's see if it fixes that. Because I feel like I don't need it if it's not. If it's not there. Because there's no. There's no thing here. Huh. Check it now. Okay. Still broken. Why? Why is it still broken? What if it's just the naming of it? Doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter. The naming shouldn't matter.
Things have broken. This seems correct, but why is it broken? Just copy the mission straight from Spartan Missions and just change it to Macedonia. Easy. It's still broken. Hmm. I might just, just delete it and retry again. Just copy Spartan missions. Copy it and then just rename it. Tag and MD. Let's see what happens if I did this. Because I completely just destroyed it and re renamed it to a different. I don't even care what was there before. If it doesn't work, then it's not important. Probably want to make them form this option. Should make a goal. Um, goal to form Oh look, it worked. I just deleted the whole thing and remade it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just just restart. <laughs> just restart forehead. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I want to continue doing this because I just need to like restart the whole brain process for this one. I'll think of this one later. Uh, let's go to Hamburg. Hamburg Gore? Oh, right. <laughs> right, Hamburg. I think this is the, the biggest brain. Uh, Mission tree I made for Hamburg.
the event happens. What? The event happens. Okay. Yeah, I think this mission tree should be fine. It's just that the events are. I think the events are oofed. So I don't know if this would work. Hmm. Maybe it's not fine. I feel like this 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 Hamburg mission is like oh god it's too much <laughs> I did too much for that one um I think fire oh whoops I did fry I'm really think of fries what am I gonna do with the fire nation soul Everything changed. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. We are the leading producer of glass. I think the other one should be iron, right? Iron and glass. Hey Sol, have you been reading anything lately? Solo? Oh god, Sol is not here. Wait, what do you get for this? Ooh, wow, look at those modifiers. Wait, for how many years? 35 years? Are you trolling? Oh, my phone died. Wow, I got a heart comment. Heart from my comment. What is 1275? 75 to buy by 35. Oh, it's 365. Oh, it's per year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big brain. Um, what is 50 years? 18 to 50. 18 to 50. This is 50 years. I'm gonna get iron production for 50 years. Holy crap. It's like a golden era. Ooh. Oh shit, this code is messy. Oh, this is early me. I think this is the first. Yeah, Fire Fire Nation has to be the first mission tree I did. Because it's messy. Back before I was just learning. Alright, clean it up a little bit. Now we gotta make iron modifier. What am I looking for? Uh, event modifiers.
do 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 Production efficiency for iron. Let's do 15% for production efficiency. Anything else? Because it is iron, right? Creating units is costs iron. What costs iron? Cannons. Cannons costs iron. Lots and lots of iron. Alright, there we go. Core creation cost minus 50%. Oh my god. What? For 30 years. One here, so it would be in slot two, position five, right? So if we want slot two, position. Hmm. What do we want for this? Let's claim China. Imagine claiming China. What mission is this? What is army drill? Oh, is it this one? Fire on. Looks like it. Fire on. Fire on. And what is this? Relocation of fire tribes. She's in two. Fire colonial. Alright, I need you by my side. No, not, not that. Um, I need to see China. Um, any one province is in the northern China region? Uh, province? Province. Owns province. I need owns.
own of own number of own provinces with. I think that's good, right? If we copy this, put it into trigger here. Oh god, trash. Let's do five provinces. Uh, is overseas? No. Not culturally equals root. No, I don't need that. I need region in China. North China. Region equals north China. Region equals north underscore China underscore region and is it culture? I don't care about culture. Let's just see if this works. Oh yeah, how do I highlight? I need, I need to see how to highlight. Back to Sparta we go. Provinces to highlights. Wait, can you province to highlight but regions? Region. Doesn't look like region is a thing. Instead of province idea, can I do region? It is a big brain. If it can work. Hopefully that works. If not, then I just don't need provinces to highlight. Effect would be add claim. To the whole region. No, that's broken. Ah. Uh, add claim to areas. So we do fusion. I'm pronouncing that completely wrong. Area. Is that right? Yeah, equal is not limited to add permanent claim.
four of those. Let's do four of those first. Four of those. There we go. Copy this. Paste. Um. Kube. Kube. And Shang Zi. Ordos is not even part of North China, and Hubei is not even part of <laughs> North China. I'm as strong as it is. Big brain. So it's gonna be down here. We should continue that one with just conquering the rest of China. Oh, I'm dumb. Makes sense. Oh, I did spaces instead of under dashes. Oops.
Okay. I've got a TI this. See what happens now. Okay. Oh, looks nice. It's like a it's like a stepping stone. It looks nice, but it's like so empty. Oh, it does do regions. That's nice. Wait, Bane's a permanent claim on Ordos and Shang-Chi. What about the other region? I guess the other region does not exist. Hubei. I guess it's a fake region. Tonking did not work.
How many missions is that? 4, 8, 10, 11. 11 missions. What is the norm? The norm is 16? Okay. I just need to make more than 16 and I'm all good. I should see if I can mod Total War Three Kingdoms. Been really playing that lately. You should be able to mod it, right? You see, there's so many mods on it. I should be able to mod it. Wow, this guy has fucking so many diplomats. He has eight different. No, there's six. I can't count. Six. Okay. I'm gonna check who's on Um. Oh, check. I'm moving.
<sighs> Man, I'm so tired. Wait, they can't take this mission. Oh. Oh, that's broken, man. They can't do anything past that. I just realized that. Why is this broken? Oh, God. I was wondering why they weren't taking it. It looked like they had more than 10 cities. Third slot. Look at the third slot, bro. Oh, I didn't put... wait, no, what? Oh, why can't you complete the mission? Fire Navy and Fire Expansion. You need to own at least 10 cities, which you do. What if I just make it so you own one province in Koryatia? Oh, that's not bad. I did control B, that's not <laughs> that's not a thing man. There you go. One in Buryatia. That should be good enough. I was wondering why they weren't completing it.
sad. I'm actually really tired after I explain for so long. Big sad. I observe. Actually, spectate. Okay, I'm typing it in, but I'm not typing it in. Spectate. Observe. What's this? Done. Go. Expand. Expand, guys. West gone to work, but not east gone to. Okay. And that one works. So. That works. Send me one. Not complete this mission before you don't have that. Oh. Fire Nation attacking again.
Wait, they actually just can't complete this mission. What? Okay, this is just broken. <laughs> Debug mode. Still can't complete these two missions. What? <laughs> what? Why is it being so weird? complete this mission. These two are bugged because it's this one is bugged. I guess let's not make it from this. Let's just make it from maybe. Because that's what it's messing it up on, I guess. Uh, whatever. It'll just look like. Yeah. This can also go down, and this one can go down as well. Alright, I think I'm done for today. A bit tired. Big brain tired. Good night, soul. Later, bro. I think I'm gonna just I don't know. Alright, bye. Bye, man. Uh, I might just head out. Mm. We left at the same time. <laughs> that was amazing. Um. Really tired right now. TFT? TFT makes me rage quit a lot. So does Valorant. And Rocket League, I just get mad because I'm trash now. There's not really a game for me to play right now. I don't know. I mean, Genshin Impact, yeah, sure. Total War Three Kingdoms. I'm about to be done with it. Should I check to see if I can mod Total War Three Kingdoms? I haven't like learned anything about trying to mod it. I've only done EU Four. Where's Total War even stored? It's not in Sega, which is weird because it shows up in Sega. That's Dynasty Warriors, no. Where is it stored? What what's their thing? Creative assembly, right? C A? Better than EA? Oh what? No, I didn't say that. 
Um, CA. I don't see them. Do not know where they're stored. To mod stuff. Because EU4 is in Paradox Interactive. That's not... That's not what I want to look at. It doesn't... Can I search up how to... Uh, Total War 3 Kingdoms. How to mod. How to mod. First... Oh, there's an assembly kit in my Steam library tools. In my tools. There's a Total War Three Kingdoms assembly kit beta. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome to this introduction on how to mod Total War. It's pack files, but just go through which pack files have what. EFF editor. That's right here. In oh, it looks like SCM draft B. from StarCraft. Uh, oh god, what is that? 2D models? Okay, so then we're gonna go to mod manager. You see your mods here. It's another test mod I made. Eh, I feel like it's a lot of work. For like barely anything. I'll I'll try I'll try modding I'll try modding that later on. That's something to look at later on. Um, three kingdoms. Just going through it really quickly. Um, you guys want to see blooms? Like <laughs> Apex is. I only play, play Apex with Taiga, I cannot play Apex by myself, I, I'm just crying in, on the inside. Um, Dynasty Warriors. Yo, I might just play Dynasty Warriors. Should I just open it up a bit? Open it up a bit? Play around with? Die really quickly? I haven't completed this, so it's still viable to play a lot of. Oh my god. One of the achievements is to watch every single conversation. Oh my god. No way. No way did anyone do that. So I like how <laughs> my, <laughs> uh, you can tell someone's, uh, you know what, I'm going to swap over from EU4 to Dynasty Warriors real quick. Um, I'm just chilling. Let's do that, and then I need a stream capture for it. There we go. That was good enough, right? Um, let's see here. <laughs> You can see my favorite weapon is the cross pike because I've only gotten the cross pike expert and that's it. No other weapon I have the expert in. is The only one is cross pike. Wait there's only like four other weapon things anyways. I don't I don't like free mode in this game, which is sad. Complete all extreme legends stages on ultimate difficulty. Oh god. Unlocked all of the achievements in the game. In the game. Right? To to unlock all the achievements in the game. Okay, well I don't wanna let's see. 
I I I'm pretty sure I completed every 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 stage here. Yep, I did. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I completed every stage already. Yep. What about Jin? Did I complete every stage on Jin? I think so. Yeah. I haven't done the bonus stages, so I guess I can do those, right? I don't know why other is so weird. It's like it's like not even a good like set. <laughs> I like Lubu as a as a faction, but other mm. the story of other, yeah, kind of sad, kind of sad. I don't know, kind of sad. It's actually pretty sad how little content there is compared to like Total War because Total War is like you can play any faction you want. <laughs> this is like giving you snippets like if you only play Dynasty Warriors you wouldn't understand like the whole Three Kingdoms era at all. So. Um, free mode is really bad in this mode. It's just you choose a stage, and there's like objectives, which is like not my style. Like in free mode, in what was it, Dynasty Warriors Three? <laughs> That's the first one I played. The only one other one I played. I have only played three and eight. So those are my two. I, I tried nine, but nine was 3D, and I was like, I did not like it. Um. Uh. So, three in in three free mode would be like you can just go out and just kill and do whatever. Uh. But this is like there's objectives to do, and I I kind of don't like that at all. <laughs> just saying. So I've completed two free modes. It looks like. Um, let's do other, I guess. Nice free modes, yeah, okay. Let, let, look at that. Within three minutes, within five minutes of the start of the battle, within three minutes of the start of the battle, and defeat 200 enemies with a Mushu attack. Like, I don't, I don't care. Highest evaluation, E. Oh my god. Oh, I did this as Lubu. B. I got a B for this one. Okay, so that third objective is you have to use bodyguard, whatever. And I'm like, this is this is so bad. <laughs> the third one is so trash. I don't know man, I just, I don't think it's that good. I mean, I'll, I'll play, I'll play this just to show you, but... Why, why do I have to use like, random things that I don't know how to use? Also, Lu Linky is, hmm, maxed out on everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see this is my favorite character because I'm maxed out on everything. Wait, can I change my office? Let's do someone else since I maxed out Lu Linky. It's not, yeah, it's not fun when you <laughs> max her out. Oh my god, bro, it's just, it's just my favorite character. What can I say? Not even Lu Bu is my favorite character. That's when you know. That's when you know I play too much Lu Linky. Um. No one's near Lu Linky. I think Lu Bu is the closest, and he's 49, bro. 
Level 49. Actually, Juan Yu is 50. Kind of like him a little bit. Uh, that's about it. Nope. Yep, back to this. Is Lubu? Yeah, Lubu is 49. Guan Yu is 50. I guess I'll do Lubu. Uh, officer settings. Bodyguard settings. Organized bodyguards. Wait, why can't I even get these people? Oh, they cost too much. That's right. Okay. Oh, because I'm not level 150, I can't get... Okay, let's just... Yeah, go from the top. Uh, sure. All of these people are trash anyways. Oh man, the cost is 31 man. Is there anyone who costs exactly how much I need? I think 28 was the closest I saw. You know what, I'll take a 26. Actually, let's see if I can increase this guy. Oh, there we go. Boom. Strengthen guard? Oh, yeah. Okay, if I want to strengthen them, I would like use someone else. I would always use all of these extra people because <laughs> I don't know these people. You'll see, I know, but like, why is he not important in this game? I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, just extra people. I just see them and I'm like, oh, those, those are extra people. I have Sky Piercer and Soaring Spike. Um, I think I have a better weapon, or uh, quick weapons, for um, my cross pipe. No, I do not. Never mind. I'm trolling myself. Alright. Save. Now begin. Okay, most played character, Lu Linky. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder why. It's not like she's my favorite character or anything. The camera's kind of weird. How do I change it? Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, back to the cross bike. <laughs> Boom. Um, I'm stuck. Hello? I'm getting trolled. Wait, what mode did I put it on? Easy, right? Should be on the easiest. Yeah, I don't like this mission. It's sad.
I also think my Lu Linky is so high because uh, she's my main officer for ambition mode. I can't jump. I'm 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 trolling. M is to jump. I tried spacebar. <laughs> You have too many animals, okay. Oh, I pressed the horse button on accident. Oh shit. What's my horse button? Oh man, what's my horse button? Oops. Oh, here we go. Ow! You just hit my s- oh, okay. No warning? No? How do I get on? Keep sending 
I am a true warrior of the three kingdoms. They keep re respawning, I guess. Z, 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 Z. Oh shit, they went from behind us. Lube and Xiao Xiao. Oh, I forgot my mouse is still there, Lamau. What now? Oh, this is a big wave. You can just kill them all.
Yeah, Mushu is trash. I kill less, I think. If I stay here too long, I'm just gonna stay here until I hit like 5k. I should keep moving, no. Oh my god. It spawns like every 3 seconds, you just can't. Is your trash. Man, I'm just stuck here. <laughs> I came back. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be stuck here too. Man, there's a lot of just farming areas now. Oh, it's coming wrong. Yeah.
Yeah. Huh. Chip. This game looks satisfying, man. Yeah. You know, you just kill people. <laughs> it's relaxing. I grew up playing this game. Yes. Just killing thousands and thousands and thousands of Chinese men. <laughs> Chinese peasants in the year 200. <laughs> you just kill people, it's relaxing. It's a hack and slash game. What? Yo, yo, yo. I killed like 4k men. Watch, I get an E, bro. I swear, bro. This, this mode is trash. <laughs> uh, this mode from this game is trash. I like it better. No. Oh, I got an A. Not bad. Surprisingly. Usually I get E. Oh, I got an achievement. Let's go. Usually I get like a really bad grade. Yeah, look, I get E's, bro. I swear to God, I get E's. <laughs> uh. You know, I'm playing as the most overpowered. Uh, character, but it, I don't play him. <laughs> I don't play him. He's only level 56. My <laughs> my favorite character has to be my waifu. <laughs> 150 max level. Ooh, damn, she thick. <laughs> I I think it's because I like her weapon, and she's really overpowered for me. Definitely her weapon. Not not anything else. It's definitely just her weapon. <laughs> they have a lot of waifus in here that are really, you know, mm, but uh, yeah, I just really like her weapon. It has to be her weapon. <laughs> I'm just trying to like upgrade everyone because the max level is 150, right? So I just I just need to like upgrade everyone. To that point and then maybe I can play like did I see a one? Oh my god I never played this guy <laughs> rip this guy bro I've never played <laughs> I've never played him oh my god that's sad rip the guy who's still level one oh she's cute uh oh yin yin ping oh yeah I like her, but her weapon's trash. <laughs> Big sad. Um, oh, Zenkai is actually fun to play. You know what? I'll play Zenkai. Her her weapon, definitely her weapon. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we have any bodyguards? We need bodyguards, right? Everyone's so expensive. And then there's the no names. The no names are the non expensive one, by the way. <laughs> you really want to look at the non expensive ones. There you go. Uh, wait. Uh, the animal. We should equip, equip an animal. Yeah, let me get. Ooh, yeah, obviously you gotta equip the red hair. Makes sense. I'm fast as fuck, boy. All right, begin battle. Burn this town and let them have it. I mean, it's it's fun to learn about like lore and whatnot, right? Because this is actually like historical and battles. Oh yeah, girl. Slide into my, <laughs> slide into the enemies like you slide into my DS. <laughs> they just had to. Uh...
Oh, damn. She just flies everywhere. That's what Zenkai is. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yep. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my sword. I will slash you now. I think this is the easiest mode, by the way. And that's why it's like really. I'm just one shotting everyone. But also, I'm using like. <laughs> really good weapons, and <laughs> I'm also like level 40. There is that. So I will. I will be playing like harder levels later on. I, I'm just chilling because yeah. historical battles, 15,000. <laughs> I mean, the setting is historical. The kill count? Maybe not. <laughs> Actually, the guy who I, I was playing as, uh, he did historically kill a thousand units. So, I just like, like quadruple his score a bit in that one battle, but... <laughs> he did historically was a really good warrior. I think uh, he was known as the man who killed a thousand men. Lu Bu. Lu Bu. Or as uh, Americans would call Lu Bu. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know how to actually pronounce it. I'm not I'm not Chinese myself, so there is that. Not Chinese, so how, I don't know how to uh, pronounce half of these names. I do try though. I do try to correctly pronounce it. Later. It's like. I don't know. I need to hear it again to pronounce Lubu's name. Yeah, he was he was crazy. <laughs> Zin Kai on the other hand, I think Zin Kai, <laughs> the girl I'm playing right now, she's a completely <laughs> fictional character. <laughs> Unlucky. I think Dynasty Warriors just needed more girl characters, and uh, back then in 200. Uh, CE. That's when uh, it, it, when most of this is being take taken place. I think this map uh, is actually 190 CE, but uh, most of this is taking place in 200 CE, and none of the girls' names are recorded, so we don't know what their actual names are. So that's why they're just fictional characters. Unlucky. We just know they had like a daughter or uh, a sister or something like that. We just don't know what their actual names are because they they weren't recorded. Because women's rights, what in, in 200 CE? <laughs> I'm not sure about that one, man. <laughs> uh, unlucky. <laughs> but it's true. It's just it's just part of history. It just wasn't recorded. No one really cared about women back then. Like not even the empresses were recorded. Like every time uh, you would just call them by empress family name. That's literally what you would call them as. So whenever you see like Empress Wu. That's literally just Empress and then their family name. And sometimes it's not even their family name, it's like the husband's family name. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, okay, really misidentify who this person is. Wait, this is just a farming place. I'm I'm literally in the same space for like five seconds now. Okay, I need to leave the farming place. They just respawn within three seconds, so it's like okay. I just one shot that guy. Uh, okay, nice.
Wait, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm playing a character who's not even born yet <laughs> in this map period. Hmm, <laughs> thinking phase. <laughs> This is another farming location. Sometimes you don't want to stay at the farming locations, even though you can farm it for EXP. Uh, you lose uh, score on time as well. If the score is based on uh, kills and time, but I think time is more uh, better. Wait, I'm just stuck here. Okay, there we go. Gates have been opened. Why is this guy trying to marry an old... Okay, whatever. Wait, not... not The girl's not old. The guy's old. Why is this old guy trying to marry a young girl? That's, that's my question, though. Yikes, bro. <laughs> this guy isn't even like... Oh, man. Oh, I just killed... Oh, sorry, Uncle, I just killed you. <laughs> hmm. Alright, let's go this way. I mean, if you want to watch me actually just like get destroyed instead, <laughs> I can do that too. You can play a uh, legendary map and then get super destroyed. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I will get destroyed if I'm playing as uh, my main character. So, might be okay. Okay, let's let's kill this guy in here. He's inside. Yeet! Oh, this guy doesn't have a face. Wow, he's an important character too, bro. Unlucky. That guy doesn't have a face either, and he's important too. Unlucky. Oh, it's dad. <laughs> it's this character's dad. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you in one shot. Oh, two shots. See you later. See you later, Dan. See you later, too. Ah, sliding. I don't know how I do that. She's pretty up. Ow! Hey, that just hit me for like zero damage. You can see I took damage. Oh, I already healed back that damage, by the way. Oh, rip. Oh, man. Easy is too easy, I think. But legendary, I die in like two hits. <laughs> so, mm. do I really want to play legendary? That's the real question. Oh, Yi Yi Ling. 
Okay, you dead now, boy. I'm just gonna rush people now. Oh, you just got like. <laughs> you died by the backhand of the shield. Imagine. Wait, I can't get in here. Okay, I'm trolling. Um, let's go to this last guy. We have to kill this last guy. Shao Shao. Boom. Oh, what's her special line? Oh yeah, it's just her fucking ramming everyone. <laughs> Penetrating everyone. Boom. <laughs> Waifu penetrates everybody. And her character is stoic, so it makes sense. Ooh, level up. Let's go. How do I get in? Oh, that's the wrong way. Whoops, my bad. Is there a way in? Where is it? How do you get in? in? You have to use like ballista or something. We have to destroy the ballistas. That might be it. Yeah, we, have, we might have to destroy these. Wait, I destroyed all of it, nothing happened. How do I get in? Oh, it's open. I'm just blind, I guess. Hello? Alright, charge him. Yeet. One slash. Wait, it's still going on? Uh oh. Is there a story? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh fuck! What? I don't want to fight him! He's strong ass, bro! Even if it is on easy. Holy fuck. Oh god. Okay, I two shot them. Easy. <laughs> hmm. If that was on Legendary, I would have died. I would have <laughs> straight up died. <laughs> yeah, the fat man gets the little girl. <sighs> it's kinda... it's kinda yikes, bro. But that's the story. Actually, I think that's fictional too. I don't know, man. Oh, B. Oops. Alright. That, that, that was just to show. I, I can do. I can do a little bit. A uh, little bit of uh, legendary. Let's go choose one where I have my waifu to choose from. Let's choose this one. Ultimate mode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose for the, the, the waifu. Man, I like the older samurai warrior games. Same with that one. Yeah, I like, I like three. <laughs> and three was my favorite. Sage. But then three didn't have her, so. Hmm. <laughs> What is the second weapon I have for her? I don't even know. Ah, oh, whatever. 
sorry, by the way. Time to lose, let's go. Oh my god, look at the health bars! <laughs> oh my god, bro. It's so much. regret this mode. Everything's on so long. <laughs> Everything has so much HP, bro. Oh my god. It's just a whole field of red bars. <laughs> Dude, he just blocks every day, bro. Oh, she out doing what the? Oh man, not Shao Shao. Not Mungda. Continue to prove to what my father has taught me. All right, let's continue destroying these people. Yeah, get through. Oh fuck, no, I don't want his Mushu thing. I will not be beaten. Bro, what? Hello, game? <laughs> Just doesn't count mine. He, his is his is like a lot stronger apparently. Bro, look at my health. <laughs> I have half health already. Oh my god. This game is brutal on the hardest mode, huh? Wow, I killed a hundred, wow.
Okay, Dad, you can have the front. I'll have this front. Because we're Germany right now. Fighting on two fronts. <laughs> I am Lydian. Oh my god, their whole team is here. Oh my god, she, he's chasing me. Okay. I just got yeeted. Scatter before me. Oh my god, my health, bro. Hello? I need to run, like, right now. Oh my god. My health. <laughs> Alright, dad, I need help. I have, like, 10 officers behind me. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Bro, how is there not a health pot anywhere? Oh my god. Health? Health? Question mark? Health? Health? Oh my. I'm dead. Oh my god, my health! Yo, there's no health pots. Bro, I'm gonna die. <laughs> in one hit bro i can't i can't i can't i can't this game is too hard i cannot oh my god do you see my health bar right now it's at one hp and this is a maxed out character how oh my god how how do you beat this game without any health pots bro <laughs> How do you beat this game without any health pods? I think I'm done. I'm done, guys. I can't. I can't beat this this game without any health pods. I just need to like upgrade everybody and then try to find like the best weapon. I guess I don't know, man. One HP. I'm literally at one HP. Oh my god. This is the meaning of one HP right here. The meaning of 1 HP. There's actually zero health pots. How? I don't need weapons! Give me a fucking health pot! <laughs> Stupid game. Oh my god, I hate this game, bro. Actually, not giving me any health pots. Okay, no, no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> no health pots. No game. Yeah, I'm done. Done though. Can look at my ambition mode, which I don't remember. Oh damn, girl, what is that? Oh yeah. Oof. I forgot I made her change her things. So this is like um how would you describe this? It's like a mode where you build your own empire. Which is pretty cool. Um there we go. Uh, I need to sell animals because I have too many apparently. Also, I have so much materials. Okay. Never thought I had that many. I don't need these horses. Oh, actually, that's, that horse is pretty good. Let 
If it has two, I'll keep, I guess. Two abilities. Oh, shit, no. That has two abilities. Alright. Elephants are fucking expensive, hello? Okay. Tiger. Wolf. Bear. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, and those two are rare. Okay. Wait, I can buy animals? Wait, they're all trash though. Panda! Panda. Panda. I'll buy a panda, why not? I have money. I have money. <laughs> oh, top of money on top of money, bro. Oh, did you come here to. Ah, yes, let me increase my health. <laughs> You cannot increase health! <laughs> um, hmm, I wonder why. Okay, I think I have max everything now for this character. Hmm. Wait, can I change characters and it just like saves? Probably it does. Alright, who can I choose here? Um. Oh, yeah, this is a. No, you can only choose characters you have, right? Why? Okay. Oh, he's not bad. <laughs> level one. The only level one in my whole game. Feels really bad, man. All right. Kind of like him. Let's have this guy though. How much can I buy my way? I can buy 52 levels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's buy 10, I think. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's change back to my... You know what, uh, maybe I'll just keep him and then... Yeah, I'll keep him and uh, upgrade him. Let's go. So I'm gonna start with beginner, but it gets harder every single time you batter, battle. So, hmm. Let's go here, I guess. Oh, this is the Battle of the Red Cliffs. Battle of Chubu. Chubu. Chibi, as most English people would call it. Uh, I can't get off my horse, hello? And now I'm dizzy, okay. Great.
Ooh, it's soon so. I'll probably won't pick him up, but whatever. I don't really need fame, huh? I'm going the opposite way. Whatever. Oh, yeah, it's over. That thing is gone. It escaped. Oh no, whatever. I don't- I didn't need the thing anyways. Just close on me. You will just close on me, man. How the heck? What do you want me to do now? Then. Oh, there we go. Same so. Easy. There are no warriors of note. Alright, let's get some coin then. Oh shit. Oh, this horse is trash, bro. I have to protect this guy, but this guy is like trash. What is he doing, bro? He's not moving. Useless. I'm gonna just go ahead. Hopefully, he just doesn't die. This horse is so trash, bro.
Oh, I just jump. Alright, it's time to go to sleep. I'm really tired. I was really tired after modding games, but now I'm really, really tired. Let's return to camp here. Emperor's Blade, what the? Okay. Thanks, Emperor, bro. Cool, bro. I don't like upgrade buildings again. Is it just here? These materials. Ah, everything's max. Right. Supervisors.
Who am I not gonna ever play? <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, yes, Imperial Throne. Yep, 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 yep. Changing to Japanese ch style. Yes, I want it to be weeby now. Ah, yes, very nice. You're very weeb. Thank you very much. Okay, that girl is fighting with her husband. Okay, nice. Uh, thank you for the materials I maxed out on. He's just trying to get me to buy. Nice. How much money do I have now? Oh, I'm still pretty poor. Let's just sell stuff, bro. Oh, I need to feed. That's right. Money. Nice. 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 Easy. Okay. So you can only feed once. Um, I forgot, bro. Uh, let's sell some weapons, bro. Blade of Darkness. Okay, bro. All right. So we. Wait. No. Let's just select first. How do I select? Page down, multi select. Okay, there we go. Because these are trash weapons right now. This one's pretty trash, even though it's really good. I need three stars or more, I feel like. Yeah, I'll keep the three stars. Oh, these are all three stars. I keep on all those stars. I said I was getting to sleep, and yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> the mouth. That's always me, man. Whoops. I was scratching my head there. Oh my god, I have so many bows. It's like Genshin Impact. So many bows, bro.
Wow, I'm so rich now. Holy crap, I'm not selling that amount. Yes. Oops. I think you get better weapons on harder modes as well. Wow, there's still so many more weapons I have to go through, yet I have already like half a mil. Whoa, what, 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 what just happened? <coughs> oh, I went through favorite weapon, my bad. What is reforge? Hmm?
What does Reforge do, huh? Does it make it better? In, in order to create two new ones. What? What does Temper do? There we go, okay. We can do this one. Ooh. Was that better or worse? I don't even know. Anyways. Weapon fusion. What does that do? Alright. That's... OP, okay. Let's see. Let's try something like this. Oh, one more. Oh, it's the other way around. So you want to choose this weapon, then this weapon, so you can move this over, that cyclone. Like that. There you go. Push it. So if I go here, that's the best weapon. I see, I see. So if I do that for the bottom one here. Alright. What can I even add? Jubilation for five? That's the other way around. Whoops. Recover a portion of your health. That's what I need. <laughs> That's what I need. See, this is Mushu. I don't really need Mushu. Poison damage. I have recovery, but I don't think it works as well. Let's do uplift instead. I don't I don't need that. May stun the enemy. Attack doubles when near death. Hmm. <laughs> that would be OP. Earth or Mon? I think Earth is better. I think velocity is still better. Stun? Hmm. I think it's like a chance type of thing. I kinda want attack speed over. It. Um, that and this is my team. Oh, this has stuff too. Let's see. There's jubilation as well. There's also flurry. Yes. What is flurry? Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't, I, I don't need Frenzy. Well, obviously I'm gonna pick this as well. I don't need to change it. Flurry isn't that bad. Attack speed, Venom. I think Venom. I think I want attack speed only. Alright. Let's go. My weapon is literally 44. <laughs> um, I think we had a weapon that had like 50 damage, right? I don't know where it is, but we had one that was like 50 damage. Sword of Heaven. Okay, bro. Oh, we can change it with this, because this is really good. And that too, holy crap. Yeah, what if I did this? this. Oh, you cannot use those type of weapons. 
Your attacks may decrease the enemy's attack speed and attack speed. Hmm. Oh, we can add. That's cool. Wait, I didn't need to do that. Oops. Um, let's go find like a thing that's really good. Right? I need to find one that's really good. One that's really good. Oh, that one's not bad. 32 is not bad. Oops. 49, here it is. Holy crap, bow. Um, and we have 15 bows, which could be used, right? Like, this one has whirlwind. chain and velocity isn't that bad either she will win my whatever that's what's do this 50 attack oh my god okay so I kind of want to do that with my best cross pipe just grab something that has like a whole bunch of things. Can't do it with those. Oh, I can use the trash weapons to just add it. Oh, velocity too. I'll take that. I'll take velocity. To slowly increase the attack damage of this. Mm, protection. What what happens if I do this? Oh <gasps> it goes to six? That's broken. Wait, I don't have Plus, okay, whatever. Protection six. I just need to find the same like, things with it. Recovery. Oh shit, that's that's the best bow. <laughs> Hold up, here's a worse bow. Here's recovery. Um, do I have anything else? No. Frost. Ooh, not bad. I think I maxed its uh, its attack. Yeah, I maxed its attack. Huh? Whatever. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head out now. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing nothing essentially. Um. Yeah. Let's see if I can go find somebody to raid. You know, send money is doing something. <laughs> I wonder if he has his Twitch no notifications. Let's actually raid this person instead. I have them followed, but I don't know why. Hmm. 
Hmm. They haven't started yet, but let's just run the Lamau. Easiest raid. Oh, they, they're, 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 yeah. Wait, what is that? Is that DMD? Is that DMD? Well, let's go find out. Lamau, go, 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 go. How do I quit this game? <laughs> Let's go.